Southern Arizona is home to a lot of airplane boneyards. In this video, we're gonna be checking out three different places where you can see abandoned aircrafts. Welcome back to the Abandoned Project. We are just south of Phoenix, Arizona. This first one that we've come up to is on an Indian reservation. It looks like it's in the middle of some farm fields. Kind of trying to get a little closer right now. We can see it from a distance. I've heard for this one, they're pretty strict on the no trespassing. So we might just have to drone around it. Kind of as good as it gets for abandoned airplanes. That was really, really awesome. There was quite a few different ones in different sections. Would have loved to get a little bit closer, but there's a lot of no trespassing signs and it looked like they were doing some construction and there were some people nearby. So we still have two more boneyards to check out. So we're gonna continue heading south. About halfway in between Phoenix and Tucson is the Penal Air Park. <laughs> Yeah, is it penal or pinal? <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe it's not penal. <laughs> Pinal airstrip? I don't know. Anyways, if you want to know a little more about all these locations, I'm going to link the blog post that I used for all my research. I'll put that down in the description for you. From what I understand, this is all commercial airplanes that have been decommissioned or they're using for parts or just storage right now. Wow, that's a huge Boeing airplane. That was neat, that's huh? That's pretty cool. That was a 747. If you don't follow us on our other YouTube channel, you might not know this, but Kelly is a flight attendant, so she's kind of a low-key aviation nerd. So she'll know all the different type of airplanes that we'll be seeing right now. This is pretty crazy to see. There's just lines and lines and lines of American Eagles and dozens, if not hundreds, of the same airplane just parked here. All along the edge, right here. just left that last spot and we we're headed down to Tucson for the night but we came across another airport that I didn't even have on my radar that has a bunch of old Navy planes that are just sitting right by the side of the road Perfect. the Morena Regional Airport and check these out look at these right here those are old Navy jets wow that's so cool no way there's a bunch over there too Run. Cool. Yeah, I want to pop out and take some pictures real quick. We spent the night in Tucson last night and we're going to go check out one last boneyard. Right in Tucson is the Davis Monthan Air Force Base. And from what I understand, it has the largest airplane boneyard in the United States. There's 4,400 military aircrafts that are stored at this facility. They were offering tours of this place, 
but in 2022, they stopped doing it, I think due to COVID. So I'm not too sure how much we're gonna be able to see today, but I wanna at least drive by and see if I can get a peek at some of these aircrafts. We found a little side road and decided to drive down it and saw some really cool smaller planes. Right there, I'm super happy that we came to check it out because that was really, really cool. We had to look through the fence, but that was still really neat to see. I wasn't really anticipating getting up and close with any of these ones. So we're gonna keep driving around the base. It's pretty big and hopefully we'll be able to see a little bit more. But even if we don't, that was incredible. We drove around the whole Air Force Base and caught a couple other views, but I think that first one was really the best at the Air Force Base. So those are three airplane boneyards that you can check out in Southern Arizona. If you like this video, please hit the subscribe button, drop a comment, give it a thumbs up. Really appreciate the support. And I'm gonna be in Arizona for the next week and I have a lot more abandoned places that I plan on checking out. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of that. As always, thanks for the support and until next time, peace out.